Hi, I have here the exam example uh, linear, I mean first order linear differential equation, but uh, we need to uh, make or uh, I mean we need to find the solution for this. So we will follow these steps. Okay, so let me copy our first step. Copy, and then let's paste it here. So our first step is to um, to uh, set our uh, given differential equation into standard form so that we can see if either it is linear in x or linear in y. Okay, so um, the uh, only thing to do is to um, vary this given de by using our algebra until such time that we've come up with this form, either linear in y or linear in x. Okay, so let me copy our equation 1, given equation. Let me call it equation 1. 2xy dx is equal to 0. So this is now our equation 1. Then um, let us um, set the equation either in this uh, linear in y or x. So how can we? So let's try to simplify it and say... Uh, Let's uh, divide it by um, dx. dx. So let's divide it by dx. So we have now x squared dy over dx minus sine 3x. Then cancel out the dx plus 2xy. Yeah, 2xy dx over dx is 1 equal to 0. Okay, as you can see. Um, in our um, I mean in our uh, general general form, we need only dy over dx here, but in our um, equation we have x squared. So let's now uh, simplify this further by dividing whole term by x squared or multiplying by one over x squared. Now uh, we can now uh, cancel this out in order for us to have this. dy over dx minus sine 3x all over x squared plus uh, 2xy all over x squared is 2 over xy, right? Okay. Then it is equal to 0. Okay. Are we uh, done yet? Are we already in the standard form? So we have dy over dx. We have dy over dx here. And we need to um, says here that need to add the sum function of x or let's call it p of x that is multiplied by y so let me find here in our um, equation where is this part p of x y function of x multiplied by y so this part here has no y but uh, as we look at this part this has now y okay so the p of x now is this 2 over x. Okay, and then that is multiplied by y. Okay, and then as you can see here, the um, function of x alone, he alone, is on the right side of the equation. So since this negative sine 3x over x squared here is some function of x alone, then we can now transfer this whole term or this qx on the other side. So we can now have this standard form dy over dx plus p of xy is equal to q of x okay so let me um, rewrite this dy over dx minus uh, i mean plus this part p of xy we have 2 over x y is equal to sine 3x all over all over what's that x squared okay okay we've already in the standard form this let me call this equation two wherein we are already already at standard form which is the standard form is once again uh, dy over dx 
plus p of x, so this is our p of x, y multiplied by y is equal to some function of x, q of x. So this whole term here is a function of x alone. Okay, so we are already in the standard form. Then we've already set our given equation into standard form, and that is linear in y. So the next thing that we need to do is to find the integrating factor. Okay, we need to find this this one in order for us to uh, make our uh, left side of the equation later on. Um, what do you call this? Um, exact. Okay. So our step two is to determine the integrating factor. Since we are linear in y, we will follow this um, formula. Okay. To find the integrating factor, we need to use this. Okay. So our integrating factor, therefore, is what is our p of x? Our p of x from our equation 2 is 2 over x. So this part here, we have 2, 2 over x dx. Okay, are we clear? From our uh, standard form, form, our p of x is the one that is multiplied by variable 1, y. And our uh, p of x here in our uh, equation 2 is 2 over x. That's why we substitute it in our um, uh, determination of integrating factor here. Okay. So after that, uh, of course, we need to, um, to integrate this and take the, uh, the, uh, the integrating factor by... Uh, Raising this into a uh, e, I mean e raised to this uh, integral. Okay, so we have e, the integral of 2 over x dx is just 2 ln of x, right? We have um, 2 over x or 2 ln of x, and that is actually only equal to x squared. Okay, so this is now our integrating factor. This is now our integrating factor. This is now our integrating factor. X squared. Right after we determine the integrating factor, our next step is to uh, to multiply the integrating factor to the equation one or to the standard form, or to the equation that is in the standard form. Copy. Then, okay. okay. Multiply by integrating factor to equation, and our reference equation here, based from our example, is that, um, yeah, this this one, our equation 2. The equation that is already in the standard form. Okay, so let me copy this. We will multiply our integrating factor to equation 2. So this is now our equation 2. Equation two. So don't don't mind the red one because that is for um, uh, de that is linear in x. So we do the de that is linear in y. So we will follow this um, white formula here. Okay. So this is our equation two, and it says that we need to multiply it by our integrating factor. Where in our integrating factor is x squared. So what will happen? We have here x squared dy over dx plus um, x squared divide x. We have me write 2 xy is equal to x squared divide x squared. We've only left with sine 3x. And then Then, based from our um, 
uh, steps when we uh, multiply the integrating factor in the uh, equation 2 we can now have this exact derivatives that is in form of y that multiply by the integrating factor so let's find this um, so let's find this um, exact uh, derivatives okay well, let us um, multiply once again this whole term by the dx so that we have can cancel out this dx here so we only have x squared dy plus 2xy dx right we have the x here is equal to sine 3x dx okay then as you can see it says here that we have this um, integrating factor times qx this is now our integrating factor times qx and this is now answer dx while on the other side we have d we can now um, equate that equal to the exact derivative of it says here that y times our integrating factor which is x squared right okay so if you want to check if we are correct by noticing and by letting this part here equal to this exact derivative then let's uh, check we have the first first is one times derivative of the second 2x dx time uh, plus the second x squared times the derivative of y dy okay or um so again let's write it here we say that we can now have the exact derivative of y x squared and then if we take that derivative we have the first times derivative of the second plus the second times derivative of the first which is only dy okay and as you can see that is already equal to this part so we have x squared dy we have x squared dy 2xy dx we have 2xy dx okay therefore this uh, form here can also be written using this exact derivative okay so that is this part which is equal to the variable y multiplied by the integrating factor the variable y multiplied by the integrating factor x squared Okay. that is equal to sine of x d of x okay and right after that all we need to do to find the general solution is here is our uh, oops oh my did I uh, delete it ah no okay so the next step is to integrate both sides because uh, we can now have the um, the um, terms that is both integrable. Okay. After this, as you can see here, this is already integrable and this part here is also integrable. So we can now integrate both sides like uh, having our uh, first technique which is the uh, separable equation so you can treat it like like that okay so let's integrate this the y and also integrate this part okay and by having that we have equal to this um the uh, integral of this derivative is yx squared and the integral of this sine 3x is that the um, derivative of sine is negative cosine 3x and then uh, since we have 3 here the derivative of 3x is 3 so we need to divide by 3 then do not forget our plus c so this is now our final answer or our general solution okay this is now our general solution yx squared is equal to negative one third cosine 3x plus c